It's this health farm. A bit out of the town. Isolated. It's owned by this, like, very rich Petitza who lives here with her cats. The place is shut down for a week and she's completely on her own. And it's full up with, like, gold and silver and, like, jewels. Tell me more, Georgie boy. Tell me more. Radford Police Station. Good evening. It's Miss Weathers at Woodmere Health Farm. Hello. Look, I'm frightfully sorry to bother you, but something rather odd has just happened. Well, it's probably nothing at all, but you never know. Well, a young man rang the bell asking to use the telephone. He said there'd been some kind of accident. Well, the thing that caught my attention was what he said. The words he used sounded very like what was quoted in the papers this morning in connection with the writer and his wife who were assaulted last night. Just a few minutes ago. Well, if you think that's necessary, but I'm, I'm quite sure he's gone away now. Oh, all right, fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, hi, hi there. At last we meet. Our brief go read through the letter O was not, shall we say, satisfactory. Yes? Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? What the bloody hell do you think you're doing? Naughty, naughty, naughty. You filthy old sunker. Now, listen here, you little bastard. Just turn round and walk out of here the same way as you came in. Leave that alone! Don't touch it! It's a very important work of art. <laughs> well, what the bloody hell do you want? Well, to be perfectly honest, madam, 
I'm taking part in an international student's contest to see who can get the most points for selling magazines. Cut the shit, Sonny, and get out of here before you get yourself into some very serious trouble. I told you to leave that alone! Now get out of here before I throw you out! Wretched, slummy big bug. I'll teach you to break into real people's houses! Come on, let's go. The police are coming. One minute, Droogie. 